Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and I have for you guys the next episode of our Dungeon Runner gameplay. And just so you guys are, if you guys are wondering, I actually did end up cheating the next part, just because it's a little bit ridiculous that the game is pretty much broken because of a, a recent update. If you don't know what I did, I basically built a bridge here, and in one other place where there are redstone traps such as that, where it, is, it has the redstone uh, blocks on the timer. The reason for that being, if you didn't hear the last part, was because it's pretty much broken, in that it, it used to work perfectly fine, but after a recent Minecraft update, it screwed up all of redstone timers for some reason, and uh, those don't give enough time for you to actually make the jump. So it's kind of like, I feel like if the game cheated me for so long, I should be able to cheat it. And also, it's almost, it's not impossible, but it's nearly impossible with uh, in the current Minecraft update. So that's why I kind of cheated it, and uh, that's where we are right now. So yeah, if you guys didn't realize already, one of my videos did go up to video games, and I'm happy to say it kind of did a little bit. It got me, I think, around like maybe 200 subscribers, and there's still people coming in. So if you guys are new to the series, welcome. I'm glad to have you guys aboard as subscribers, and I hope you come to love my series and uh, shows. But yeah, so if you guys couldn't tell, that was the area I had to cheat right over there. But uh, don't worry, nothing else so far has to be cheated, and I'm hoping that that's basically it in terms of uh, what we have to break, you know what I mean, to actually to get past it, because... To be honest with you guys, it, it wasn't really fair to me, you know what I mean? The fact that the redstone was broken, it made it way too difficult, as if this wasn't difficult enough. Ah, oh, man, that jump right there, I have no clue how to make. I, I tried it once before when I was just practicing earlier, and I couldn't do it like, at all. But that's right, I'm sure we're going to be getting there a couple times before the end of this, and hopefully we'll be able to make that jump. It, I'm sure we will be able to. It'll probably take like two, three, maybe even four tries, but it, it'll come eventually. Alright, so let's run through here now. Now, one thing I'm really happy about, my Borderlands 2 series, I'm having the last part of it go up now, like part 4, not the last part of the series, the last part, which is of bad quality. After that, it's going to be 20 minutes long, each part that I do, and, oh, I fucked that up. It's going to be 20 minutes long, and hopefully the uh, frame rate won't drop as much, things like that. So, uh, if you're wondering how I ended up fixing that, it's because I had to lower the texture detail of the in-game, so it's like, you won't be able to see as much texture as in, like, if there's, like, little, like, cans in the ground, you probably won't be able to see them. But it does overall quality, like, uh, increases, so that basically, uh... How do I put this? It doesn't drop frame anymore. It doesn't have any major lag. Nothing like that. It pretty much, I sacrificed the ability to look at magazines on the ground for having a solid, smooth running game. So, I hope no one complains about that. I'm probably, sh I'm pretty sure there's going to be at least one person that does. But, it probably shouldn't be that big of a deal, so. GG. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Making it over to this area. Kind of random, and I'm sure you guys don't really mind that, or care that much, I guess you should say. But um, I have a big math quiz and chem quiz coming up this Monday, and it's actually pretty crazy because I have quizzes every single Monday, so I have math and chem quizzes every single week. It, it's, it's pretty ridiculous, but I have to say I'm thankful that I do because it kind of gets me to study and uh, it helps me learn the material before the big tests so that I'm not screwed over, and holy shit. Okay, so we got to find out. If I step on that, what does that do? What does that do? I'm so confused. What did that do? I'm scared, mommy. Pressure plates aren't good things usually. Wait. Why am I... That's the st... Oh. Apparently it opened up a secret layer. That's weird. Let's go in there then. Let's see. What the fuck? Well, at least we have, like, that's basically like the first time ever that we have a checkpoint now. So that's nice. I'm, I'm kind of glad we have that checkpoint. That way we can, uh, if we ever end up dying, we can just go straight back there. Holy shit. Um, is that, do I want to jump in there? There's lava leaking through the ceiling. Nah, I say we don't jump in there. Maybe I'll try that next. We'll see what happens. But I can't believe we hit a checkpoint. Nice. I'm glad they added those in because it was kind of annoying that they never had check. Wait, what the fuck? Was that rain? That is rain. Hello, Mr. Rain. That's awkward. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny, though. I'm I, I, I kind of like that they added that in. It makes me smile a little bit. All right. Now, the question is, do I want to do all of that, or do I want to just jump down there and cheat the fucker? Um, we're going to cheat the fucker. Make it a little bit quicker. Why not? If they're going to allow me to cheat it, I might as well. Oh, I guess. Oh, okay, so we were supposed to get down here then, so. All right, that's not bad. GG then. Wow, this, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to beat, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I screwed myself over. I probably wasn't supposed to cheat that. Oh, shit. Apparently, you weren't supposed to jump down there either. Oh, well, at least... No. Get out of my way. 
<laughs> I'm not I'm not playing your games. If you broke, you broke. That's not my fault. I'm breaking through you. I, I'm not playing your shitty games. Alright, let's jump through here now. Over to here. Come on. Whoa, what is that below? Oh, that's that other area that uh, from earlier. Okay, so that's cool. This entire map just kind of overlaps each other. I really like that. I think that's a cool addition. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Oh, wow, this looks... No! Poor game! One second, everyone. Alrighty, let's go back down here, then. I, I, I'm really liking that checkpoint. I'm kind of mad, though, that it... Wait, what the fuck? How'd we get... I feel like... Oh, okay, never mind. I must just been imagining things. I, I'm such a derp that I actually jumped back down there. Apparently, that was where we had begun, and I got overlapped there. I just realized that now, how stupid I was. So, I, I came from over there, and then I jumped down like that to try and get... Fuck, I'm such a dumbass. I'm sorry, I just kind of humiliated myself last part, didn't I? Yeah, there's probably a lot of people complaining in the comment section right now about how dumb I am. That's okay, though. We have fun with what we do here at Jerome ASF. We have fun. Alright, let's jump over here. Oh, hold my dick. There we go. I have no clue what I'm going to do after this Dungeon Runner series is over. Because honestly, I love the whole parkour aspect, and I might want to do another parkour adventure map, but I don't think there's any like this, so I don't know. I have to think. Either that, or I'm going to do maybe another adventure map on my own, just something completely different. I'll probably... I'll probably do that, because I kind of like the idea of having adventure maps to do, you know what I mean? I can just open it up, play for like 10 minutes, then go bye-bye. I kind of like that. At least that's why I like Dungeon Runner. See, the thing with other, uh, other maps is that, uh or sorry, other adventure maps, is that sometimes they get a little bit too involved, and then it becomes a little bit difficult to kind of, uh, how do I put this? It becomes difficult to kind of, like, film for only ten minutes and then get back in the swing of things when you film again in, like, another, like, hour or two or, you know, the next day or a week later. But with parkour maps like this, it's like, if I do a ten-minute recording, I can just go, pick it back up, like, a day later, and it's as if nothing happened. So, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's just, it's a very strange feeling. Here we go. Oh, come on, come on. Perfect. Finally made that jump. We're coming back over to this area now. And uh, things are going to get a little bit tense here, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Oh, made it. There we go. Perfect. Not perfect. How the fuck are you supposed to make that jump? Is that even possible? What the fuck? Wow, that's like the equivalent of like here to on top of that block. Jeez, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to take a little bit of jumping lessons here because I, I don't know how uh that was pretty bad. Yeah, I definitely need some lessons. If I'm gonna be pulling jumps off like that. I'm gonna need lessons. But wow, that's really strange though. Oh, you know what? Maybe the floor wasn't supposed to be broken. I think once I hit those pressure plates down there, the floor is meant to retract and it kind of broke on its own. But I think it wasn't supposed to be open. That's alright though. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We'll just use it as our little checkpoint. No one needs to know that uh, we did that. There we go. Jump across here now. Perfect. We are almost back to where the impossible jump is. Okay, here it is. Hold my dick! Oh my god. I was I was really close to that one. I think I just need to do it like a split second later. I'm pretty sure at least. Like I think I think I was just a second too late. So I'm going to give that one more go. See what happens and uh, move on from there. Okay, here we go. Jump, jump, jump. Come on. Come on, Jerome. You can do it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, fuck. I messed that one up. I botched that one pretty badly. That was not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm going to give this about two to three more goes, and then I'm going to call it quits for the day. So uh, just giving you guys a little heads up. All right, let's jump along here. Later on, I'm probably also going to have a little bit of my Pokemon Tower Defense gameplay going on. Uh, of course, I'm going to have my uh, two parts of Borderlands that I love doing so much. And I'm also going to probably get the first part of my Flesh Player Mania, the new map, uh, or the new game I'm going to play. I'm deciding between Electric Man 2, which had the most thumbs up out of everything you guys suggested, and something called Raze, I think. I, I don't know either of the games, and this is why I'm kind of conflicted between them. I don't know either of them. Electric Man 2 had the most thumbs up for it but Ray's had the most comments for it. So it's as if, like, 
There's a bunch of people that wanted raise, but they didn't want to like each other's comments saying to play the game raise. And everyone that wanted Electric Man 2 was like, well, I don't have to comment to this guy or you did, so I'm just going to press the like button. So I have no clue which one to do. I'm probably just going to look at both of them and choose one, you know what I mean, based on my preference. But, uh, yeah, it's really strange. I don't know why you got... Some people just... The uh, the Electric guys decided to organize a little bit better than the Rays fans. But it's, I'm not going to penalize them for it. I don't think you guys should have to organize yourself when you want to fucking suggest a game to me. It's just now I have to decide between those two. Because those two are, like, neck and neck, pretty much. Alright, here we go. Perfect. I keep seeing all these advertisements for some new World of Warcraft thing called Mista Pandaria. I don't really know, but it kind of makes me want to play WoW, and I've never played it before, and I, I refuse to play WoW. I, I refuse in 6th grade, even though a bunch of my friends played, because I was always afraid it'd be too addicting. That's what the rumors were, so I just never... Oh my god, we made the jump. We made the impossible jump. But that was the reason I never had played WoW before, so... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I I think I might try it, but I don't I don't know because I don't want to get addicted to it. I was always afraid I would, and now I definitely can't get addicted to it because if I do, I'm probably not going to film for it, and uh, that's a major problem because, you know, filming, kind of my job, kind of need to film. Uh, so I don't know if I want to get into that. Let's see what happens when I press this. Oh, don't tell me. Another area that I have to cheat? Probably, maybe. All right, you know what? I just got to time this out right. Yeah, fuck. We have to have another area we have to cheat. Oh, man. That's, that's annoying. I'm going back to mission one to see if I can parkour faster than I'm going to call this video quits. But that's annoying. Now we have to cheat another area just because the timer's broken. That's all right, though. Sometimes the timers are broken in this game. Hey, I, I honestly, I'm surprised that Minecraft would make that update that fucked up all the redstone timers, but that's okay. GG. We can get past it. Uh, loop. Oh, I made that one. I want to see if I can flawless this one. First try, first try. If you guys are new to the series, don't know, this is the first level we ever had to play for the Dungeon Runner Let's Play. So this is all kind of like, pretty much just a flashback here to the first part. And uh, I'm trying to see how well I can do compared to when I tried it the first time. Okay, yeah, I've definitely gotten a little bit better at parkour since then. And by a little bit better, I mean I've definitely gotten a ton better at parkour since then. Wow, I, I just finished that flawless. That's I'm surprised how much better I'm getting. Well, anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next time we play, we're probably going to be able to beat Dungeon 6. At least I hope so. And then we can move on to the Master Dungeon. So thank you guys, and have a good night.